Here's task four of the second sample assessment for applied management accounting. So we're told that B Limited currently uses a cost plus pricing basis, but now wants to change to target costing for its new products. A new product is being developed and B Limited has undertaken some market research costing £10,000. Now remember that if there is a number provided in the text, then we'll probably need to be using that number somewhere in our answer. You do have a highlighter tool in your uh, computer-based software, uh, so it's useful just to highlight things to make sure you don't forget them. Now they've also established that based on sales demand of 5,000 units, a competitive selling price would be £25 per unit. B Limited wants to achieve a sales margin of 50% on all new products produced. The following data have been established regarding the cost of producing the new product. So we've got the cost of the material R and material S, we've got our labour cost, variable overheads, and we've got a fixed overhead absorption rate of £1.10 per unit. So the question asks us to calculate the estimated production cost of the new product. We need to enter our answers to two decimal places, and if the answer is zero, we need to enter a zero. Remember that the computer software is going to mark your answer based on your input. Uh, so if you don't input it in the right format, then the computer will just think you're wrong. So pay attention to these instructions. So first of all, then, we need to have our material R. So it tells us that for each product, we need to use half a kilogram and it costs five pounds per kilogram. So if we take our five pounds and multiply by a half, that gives us £2.50 for each unit. And I remember that's to two decimal places, so 2.50. Then for material S, we need 0.3 of a metre and it costs £15 per metre. So if we take our £15 and multiply by 0 0.3, that gives us a cost of £4.50. And then for our labour, we need 20 minutes at £9 an hour. So if we take our £9 and we need to multiply by, well, we take 20 minutes and there are 60 minutes in an hour. So that gives us a cost of £3 per unit. Again, we've got two zeros here, but the question wants to two decimal places. So we need to make sure we type in those two zeros. For the variable overheads, they're charged at £6 per labour hour. So again, it's the six pounds, again, multiplied by the 20 divided by 60, and that gives us two pounds. For our fixed overhead, it simply tells us that's one pound 10 per unit. Now, what about our market research? Well, there is no market research per unit, is there? We've got our total cost of 10,000, but that's a fixed cost. It doesn't depend on each unit. Um, and plus, that's not a, a manufacturing cost either, is it? So, yeah, we want to put a zero in here, as the instruction told us. So that gives us a total cost of £13.10 per unit. Then in part B of the question, it asks us to evaluate, based on the target costing principles, whether B Limited should make and sell the new product. So remember that we want to get a sales margin of 50% and the selling price is £25. So let's work out what would be the target. So we have our selling price of £25 and we have a target margin of 50%. So if we work out... £25 multiplied by 50%, that means we have a profit of £12.50. And if our profit is going to be £12.50, then our target cost, and remember that's what the question is about, yeah, our target cost will be the selling price of £25 minus the £12.50. So that's also £12.50, isn't it? But the trouble is, our expected cost, which we've just calculated, is 1310. 
And on that basis, we should not produce and sell this product. Because it's going to cost us 1310, but the maximum it can cost is 1250, otherwise we will not achieve our planned profit margin. Now this is a six mark question. We've not said enough to get six marks yet, so we do need to be able to say some other things. So what what else could we talk about? Well, again, if we look at our question, are there any numbers we've not used yet? So we've not really talked about the five thousand demand or the ten thousand. Yeah, we've we've included the twenty five in our answer. We've included the fifty percent. So to earn some more marks, I need to force myself now. Let me talk about the market research. Let me talk about the 5,000 units. So first of all, then, for the research, well, we've spent that money already, haven't we? So the, the market research is a sunk cost. So we should not include that in our calculations because we've spent that money already. What we do in the future won't affect that. So we should you know, ignore that. And then what about the 5,000 planned outputs? What, what can we talk about there? So do, do any of these figures reflect that 5,000? So for the material cost, well, no, that, that, that's not affected by the 5,000, is it? Or I suppose it is, isn't it? Because if we make more than 5,000, we might get some bulk discount. So yes, if we increase our output, so that is more than the 5,000, then we may get some bulk purchase discounts, which will reduce the cost of material R and material S. So these numbers would go down if we're able to achieve some sort of discount from the purchasers, or from the suppliers rather. <coughs> So, so that there is a possibility we might be able to reduce our cost. Remember, we just need a 60 pence reduction because our total cost is more than what it can be allowed to be, more than the target cost. So we just need to have some 60 pence saving to be able to make this a viable product. So potentially we might be able to get some bulk discounts if we increase our volume. Uh, what about our, our labour? So if we sell more, will that change? Well, I'm not sure that it will because it's going to take 20 minutes for each product. So I'm not sure that will change. But our fixed overhead, yes, yeah, so that, that could be a factor, couldn't it? Because remember, this, this £1.10, that's based on our overhead absorption rate, which will be our fixed cost divided by the 5,000 planned units. And we know that's going to be £1.10. So if we know that's £1.10, that means we can go backwards and we can work out that our fixed cost must be 5500 So if we increase our production, can, can we save the 60 pence? So yeah, we, we want our maximum overhead absorption rate to be 50 pence, don't we? So we, we, we've got £1.10 at the moment, but somehow we've got to cut it back to just... 50 pence so that we save the 60 pence. So in that case, we know that our fixed cost of 5,500. And therefore, if we know that this needs to be an answer of 50 pence, so if we, if we work this out, we can calculate that if we have an output of 11,000, we'd be able to spread our fixed overhead costs over a greater number of units, and that would reduce our overhead absorption rate down to 50 pence. So yes, increasing our output may allow us to get some bulk discounts, but yeah, if we can increase it to 11,000, then our overhead absorption rate would fall to 50 pence, and therefore we would meet our target cost. You know, please note that you know I've just written some scribbles on the screen here to you know, while I'm talking about it. Yeah, if you wrote your answer in these brief notes, uh, there's quite a good chance that the marker wouldn't really understand what you're talking about. So you do need to have full sentences to make sure that you have clear communication with the marker. So let's move on to part C now. Explain how value analysis could be applied by B Limited to aid its cost control of the product.